Hi, I'm Alex. I'm really excited to say that the latest software version has landed on my Remarkable 2 in the last few days. It's February 2022 and the fact that I'm really excited to say this has made me realise quite how geeky I am. In this software update, there are three key upgrades. The first one, and the one that I'm most excited about, is upgrades to how you interact and edit PDFs on the device. There's also some documents and cloud storage upgrades. And finally, the final upgrade I want to look at is with regard to searches and how that works in the Remarkable 2. I'll show you each of the examples and work through it, and hopefully this will be of use. Just to let you know, I've set up this Remarkable 2 to be a beta testing device. Anyone can do it, it's really easy, but it does mean this software update isn't yet available for full release unless you sign up for the beta. Although hopefully, in the coming weeks and months, this is something that will be shipped out to all devices. The key feature that I've got really excited about is you can now add, delete, and move pages within PDFs and eBooks. To be honest, I couldn't believe when I got the Remarkable that this wasn't an option. And I remember looking at ways to be able to do more with PDFs and eBooks than I could, and then, then is and was an option. Now, I've got used to it, and it's meant that practically in day-to-day -day life, if I'm using a PDF on the device and I want to write notes in a meeting, I have to flip between two documents, which is okay, but slightly cumbersome. But this update changes that. It means that on the fly, you can now add pages. You can actually also move those newly created pages into other PDF documents and other note documents within the device. Although you can't move the original pages from one document to another as it currently stands. So with that said, let's look at how it works in action. So to show this working in action, I've got a test folder here on the Remarkable 2. And something I've had on it for quite a while is a largest document in terms of the detail, but it's only two pages long in a PDF. And I think it's a really neat example of how this will work and how it could add value. So if I click on that, uh, it takes a second to load because it's quite a detailed one page thing. So it's gonna load here. Now, great example here, it's two pages and that's all it is. But you might look at this and want to create a third pages of notes. So let's skip over to there and say you want to make another page of notes at the end. What you can simply do now is uh, click on here, click add page, and there you go, you've got a new page. So if I click on back, you've got a page here which is completely fresh. Actually, I'm on a rubber here, but there we go. Complete, if I go back to this, you can see here you've now got your third page and you can just keep on adding pages to suit. So let's go back. Now, what you can do with these documents, if I click on here, uh, background. Oh, there we go, doesn't seem to want to play. This is interesting. Click on this, click on here, click on background. Now, interestingly, normally, and see how new the feature is because normally you can change the background but at the moment bear in mind this is still a beta so i'm sure i'd imagine that once this is fully released to the public uh, not in beta this will work fine uh, but normally background is an option at the moment it's just a blank page that's fine i've put a second blank page in here and we're going back here to the document now let's say for example you want the page you've just created and written your notes in to be at the front of this document. So click here, and you can click on move. And if I click on there, what's really nice is it says whether you want to move it to the right side or the left side of the page you've highlighted. So I can just click on the left side here and you can see it's moved it there. Also, when you click move, you've got the option to move the document out into another document. So from my perspective, as simple as that sounds, just being able to add pages, I think is huge and really, really useful. One other thing you can do and certainly couldn't do before is if I click on duplicate, so this is the main page with all the documents on, 
for whatever reason, you might want any page in a PDF duplicated, you simply click on duplicate and it's just recreated the whole page. So if I click on back, you can see now, now say so this is the beta version, so I'd expect the full version to be a bit smoother, but there you go, completely new page. It's just rendering that again. And I think that's huge. If you want, if you've got something where you just want to repeat the document, repeat pages, it really gives you some powerful editing options on the fly. So you've got the one page here, you can draw on this. Uh, you've got the next page here, which hasn't got those drawings on. So as I say, really useful, really good options. This is just the beginning. It's still in beta. As I say, in the coming weeks, in the coming months, I'm sure they'll improve on this. But if you're like me, and if you found not being able to make these sorts of edits and changes and add pages to PDFs as a limitation, you might also be really excited about how this can help in your workflow. So with that said, let's look at the other things that we added to the software update. So the next update is really quick and easy to talk through. Remarkable recently added OneDrive to the Remarkable 2. And in this beta software update, they've added SharePoint to that. Now I can't show you that on the device because I haven't set up a OneDrive and SharePoint account for this. However, if it affects you, if that's been a frustration, I'm sure you're aware. And just to let you know, it's in this beta and it'll be coming to the device in the coming weeks and months. So Remarkable have also now really increased the search functionality and the power of search in both PDFs and in eBooks. Now this wasn't something I was missing, unlike the PDF manipulation from earlier. However, in using it, I can really see how useful it is. And I think it's one of those things that now they've added it, I can see myself starting to use that. I've opened up a PDF, it's a free PDF called Year Compass. And if we click here, and click on search. If we just type in the word compass, C-O-M-P-A-S. So this is a multi-page document and it's gonna search the word compass and it says there at the top that there's 29, you can find 29 uh, words, you, well, tw 29 uses of the word compass in this document. So it says on the first page, which you'd expect it to have found, but you can then click on next. And interestingly, it says result two, but it highlights each one of them on the page. So you can just keep on clicking through uh, you can go forwards and you can go backwards uh, and you can just keep on finding just different uses of the word on each page. Although saying that, uh, let's just click on. Oh, uh, because it, it's, it's finding it in the top left, which is why it was highlighting each page. That's why I couldn't see it because it was being hidden there. But it does find, in my experience, when it's a nice, clear uh, PDF like this or ebook, really good at finding those words, finding those searches. And that, if there's that specific word you're looking for in a longer document, this is a really powerful feature that could save you quite a lot of time. I hope that's been helpful. I certainly have made videos about every software release certainly the beta releases. However, for me, this is a really exciting software update. It's taken remarkable years in order to implement this, and I think it's gonna help mine and lots of people's productivity, save time, and make the Remarkable 2 a much more useful device. If you've got any thoughts or comments, please leave them down below. If you've liked this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, I've been Alex. Thanks for watching.